How's this going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. This is Enolity Technology, your best place for the latest tech reviews and concept renders. Get ready to clean your home in the smartest way. Before moving further in this video, do like, share and subscribe. Today we have the Yeti Vacuum Max. It is a 2-in-1 vacuum cleaner and is ready for both wet and dry messes. It has the strongest cleaning power. With the 3000 pascals of suction power, it can tackle the wet and the dry messes in just one go. It has the most advanced carpet detection sensor through which it can sense the flow type and set a cleaning method accordingly. Also, while mopping, it will avoid the carpet. Here on the front side, we have the mapping sensor, the anti-collision sensor and bumpers. As we open up the lid, we have the power switch coming with the reset button, a Wi-Fi indicator, auto mode button and a multifunction cleaning tool. In the back side, we have the anti-drop sensor and the flow tracking sensor. It is very easy to pull out the dustbin, just lift the cover grab the handle and pull it out. Here we have the most high efficient filter coming with the release button and the filter net. Just make sure that the charging dock should be placed at a center position so that nothing comes in between in a range of 5 foot in the front side and 1.6 foot on both the sides. The Yeti's usual mapping technique enables flow tracking to map out the whole area like a GPS for deep cleaning so it wouldn't miss any spot while cleaning. The Yeti also give you an editable map home, which means that you will get the freedom to clean specific room and even steer away from the certain area by drawing up zones. The Yeti gives you a full application control which we will check out but before, let's check out the unboxing part. So here are some package contains that you will get to see. The robot vacuum cleaner, the docking station, the power cable, a quick start guide, a instruction manual, edge brush, washable mopping pads and mopping pads plate. Now let's check how to control this via app. You can download the app by scanning the QR code given in the quick start guide or just search Yeti in your Google Play Store and Apple App Store. Open up the app and make sure you are logged in with your registered mail ID. Tap at robot, choose the vacuum or directly scan the QR code available beneath the top lead. Just make sure that your phone and the vacuum should be connected to a same Wi-Fi network. Switch on the vacuum and then press the reset button for a second and you will hear the robot is ready for network setup. Close the lid and align the QR code displayed on your smartphone in a parallel with the camera of your vacuum cleaner. When the scanning is completed, your robot is successfully connected to your smartphone. Here you can even add multiple devices. Here is how the interface will look like if you tap on the robot. Here you get a start button where the vacuum will start working, a recharge button which will send the vacuum back to its charging dock and the map management which will give you the freedom to manage the map. It has three different suction power modes that are at 600 pascals at 1500 pascals and at the maximum 3000 pascals. The cleaning schedule, you can even set the volume level of the vacuum's command. Inside the cleaning interface section, you get the do not disturb mode, the switch to turn on and off the auto boost suction and even the auto empty mode which when enabled sends the vacuum back to its self empty station to empty its dustbin. Back to the home page you can also have a look on the battery status of the vacuum cleaner. Even you can give your vacuum cleaner your favorite name and as well as you can see the usage of every accessories of the vacuum cleaner. Now let's see how to install a mopping pad. First detach the reservoir from the vac itself. Attach the mopping pad plate in the slots given in the reservoir. Use the velcro available on the mopping pad plate to stick the washable mopping pads correctly. Now fill the reservoir with water and attach the whole reservoir to your vacuum itself and here the vacuum is ready for mopping operation. Now let's see how to install the self empty station. First put away the original docking station then connect the dock container and the base station. Remove the protection film, after that screw the base sockets. Install the RAM extension for carpet use only. The last thing, connect the power cord. 
do make sure that the station has ample amount of clear area around it. These are the vacuum ports where the station will suck all the dust present inside the vacuum cleaner, this the infrared signal emitter, the LED indicator and the lid release button. Inside the container you will see the dust evacuation tube and the dust back socket. This is how the dust evacuation tube is placed and look from the bottom of the self empty station. Talking about some specifications, it provides you a total of 200 minutes of work time in just 6 hours of charging. Also, as the vacuum can mop around, it has a 240ml capacity of water tank coming with 3 different water flow levels. Also, its just bin capacity is 450ml and a 2.5 liter of dust bin bag. This was overall the review of the Yeti VAC Max. I hope you liked this video. If so, hit that like button, do subscribe to the channel and do let us know what you think about this Yeti VAC Max in the comments down below. This is Enology Technology and we will see you guys in the next one. Till then, peace out.